Hey there, Boots Owen here. I got this Sovereign. Um, it might be a B and Q model, BL eighteen hundred garden chipper, eighteen hundred watt garden shredder, powered garden machinery. A Sovereign machine, BL eighteen hundred. There's another notice plate somewhere. I'd say so, some safety information down there, and sticker over there got it on gumtree for a pound the guy said it wouldn't cut butter it was beyond his capacity to deal with the blades which i respect that's life if that's not your thing he didn't pay very much for it i presume he got in the city got in the charity shop our conversation wasn't much longer than that but it's clearly been used carefully what i like about it is so far metal metal even though it sounds a bit it is all tin and then the top's plastic, the top chute. Somebody's made this pushing stick. I presume they've made it. It doesn't look like the kind of thing you'd get as a standard. And it's been well used. And down in the chute there, there's a bit on the left hand side for big logs. Well, logs, maybe an inch, I guess you'd get through there. And there's a knob here which you open and then you rotate that off and you can see that side takes the logs into the path of this blade, which I presume spins this way. The blade is reversible, so there's a sharp edge and a blunt edge. The blunt edge is quite blunt. Uh, the sharp edge doesn't feel like it's ever been used, so it's just a matter, hopefully, of bashing these screws out with an impact wrench. They don't seem to have nuts on them. So they're posy, which is a bit of an issue. Posy number three, but I've got an impact wrench number... What would it be? Number three, Phillips, I think. An impact driver, handheld impact driver. So I'll try bashing that, and if they move at all, then we're getting somewhere. So this is my Draper impact driver, part number 2500. It's well used. I've bashed it like a mushroom the end off it. I got this originally when I was dealing in Honda 50s as a teenager. I think that's the bigger size, so that's what it's gonna be. And used it on Honda 50s and motorbikes and stuff like that. Now I guess if you had an impact screwdriver, which I do, but my one only goes forwards bizarrely. So how's this gonna work? Put it in, twist it like that. It's a bit jittery there, I might have to hold it somehow. That seems to be it actually. Either that or it's broken. No, don't even know if I needed that. I did try it last night when, late when, it, when I got it with a hand screwdriver and wasn't making much of it, but it might just be the initial shock. Those look to be M6. That was very easy. Right. The right tools, eh? Now, if you don't have this in correctly, it can jump out and you can wreck the screw thread, so... No, we're not there yet. You need to kind of preload it a bit before you strike it. Oops, and the spring has gone, the little retaining spring. Now it looks like it shifted that time. Yeah, it did. There's a load of stuff on the back of the thread, but I really don't want to remove the, um, the head if I can avoid it. I presume it's just fixed straight onto the motor shaft. Come back to that. No, well, I'll do it now. The screwdriver's right here. Give me a better grip. It's just the um, grassy stuff or whatever fibers of plant on the back of it that are getting caught. Try working it in a bit. I could put WD 40 or something on it, but brute force, a lot of the time, will get you out. This one is stickier. I'm not sure why. Does the outside one do more work, maybe? If stuff's getting thrown to the outside. Possibly. That's blade number one. It has a part number on it. 3849854 slash zero zero. But the um, other side actually just feels sharp, so I'll give that a clean and try it. It's so blunt that I can actually just rub my fingers along it. And I have a feeling you could probably resharpen these as well, as long as you did them in pairs. Just like a planer knife. That's loose. That's loose. Really is the right tool for the job in this case. 
and all the stuff stuck around the back of that screw, which I'm sure we'll find out about later on. This is the easy one again, it's definitely just fizzing out. And replacing them really shouldn't be that complicated, but it's knowing that they'll come out. I think a lot of times when you're watching a video like this, knowing that it can be done is half the battle. So I'm working it in a bit and then out a bit. Ah oh dear, come back. And I can see on this one, there's a load of stuff stuck on the back of it, which doesn't help. But I have every confidence that I can get it out. Maybe if I stand up. The other thing to do would be somehow lock the blade in position. This is nearly out. There we go. Yeah, same part number, I think, presumably. So the blade, the screw, really was only doing work where it's silvery there. The latter portion, or the first five-eighths of the thread, wasn't really doing very much. Two-thirds, even. So how do I clean this up? Let's figure that out. So it's a strange place to start, but I've got a little window scraper here, Stanley blade, effectively, in a handle. You could put it in a vise. Probably soak it in some kind of solvent as well. Water being a solvent for things like plants like this. I don't know how sharp that is, like I'm rubbing my finger along it and it's not going to cut me, but equally it's not, um, it's never been used, clearly. And that side there, it is, it's completely dulled over. You can see there's about sixteenth of an inch a millimetre or thereabouts more even uh, rounded over on that side but this side's okay so I'm just going to bung that back in I think I should have done it before and after but well it's too late now well it's not too late but I'm not going to do it <laughs> let's give the other one a bit of a clean No, it's not. I was going to say one side, one end is sharper than the other. Um, the tip in there at the root of the blade, where it's doing the least amount of work, is definitely sharper, but it's not worth turning it around at this point. Right. And where it sits here... bit of stuff. Okay, new blade out that way. So we're getting somewhere. So not a bad machine for a pound, like the flex that came with it is worth easily more than that in scrap and it's got an interesting plug, so it's a unique one of those kind of, I'd call that a European style connector plug. Or a socket, or a, what would it be? It's a female part. It's not an outlet, I can't remember the name of it. Now this one. It is quite amazing that a fellow couldn't like that's the li that's life you know so this is the level of tool that the chap was comfortable with uh running a machine which you know is a skill in itself some people wouldn't ever venture into the wilds of doing their own gardening genuinely and so he was doing that much himself and chopping up garden detritus and willing to buy a second hand thing as well so there's a level of self-reliance there yeah doing something himself but he's not gonna 
fix it himself and you know that's okay i don't know how tight you have to tight tighten these i'm kind of risking putting the thing in the line of fire there with my hand and that nice sharp blade on this side yeah i wouldn't mind you could easily sharpen them up and make sure that they were kind of equally sharpened on both sides um just by hand The stuff comes out into a chute here above my foot, just falls out or gets pushed out. And uh, when it's coming out, I presume you can kind of nudge a wheelbarrow in under it or something. I suspect there's a reason for it being the height it is. Right, the cable is now live. This has a unique, well, I say unique, it's the first time I've ever seen a fastener like this. So you have to pull this down, I think. Or out, 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 okay. And then wiggle that in. That kind of, I don't know what that red thing does. Snaps back in. Ears. Oh, that's very silent actually. That's kind of nice. Can you see anything? brake or something on that there. Let's open it up again. Now I have every confidence that I can use this with the thing open right now. So what will I do with this next? Oh, there's some spider poo. Those white spots look like spider poo or something from a garage. I'll tidy that up. It doesn't appear to have any kind of a fail-safe fail device. It has something. And there must be something in there on the end of this shaft. Hmm. So we just need something pokey, like a nail or a something, a small screwdriver. To put in the hole, like an idiot. It's off. Yeah, that's it on. He's an idiot, huh? doesn't run particularly fast i wonder it doesn't appear to be geared down but it's 1650 rpms what these things usually run at right, let's prevent myself from doing any more of that i wouldn't be bothered cleaning any of that inside out the other thing is that it's a bit wobbly when you are wheeling it, it kind of clumps up so i think this i can i can see that actually is loose that side so i'll tighten up the legs but that's not something you need to see as far as i'm concerned that's going to work it does work which is excellent that's what we like questions or comments leave them below thanks for watching see you later